Welcome to Amplify, a micro podcast for macro cosmic creators. I'm your host, Karen Gray Parker. Welcome to our very first episode of Amplify. Each week, you're going to learn what you can do to amplify your voice, increase your impact, and inspire the world. Inspiration is a garden that has to be tended to if you're going to stay inspired. We have a tendency to think that inspiration just happens magically. It's that spark of insight or an idea that pierces the doldrums of our reality and ignites something new and transformative in us. Even though there is always a sprinkle of magic in receiving that divine spark, being inspired is actually a state that can be consciously cultivated. Inspiration is a practice. It's common for cultural creatives like you to feel stuck sometimes. Stress and anxiety can deplete inspiration pretty quickly. This happens because stress causes the body to produce adrenaline and cortisol, two hormones that prepare the body to take protective measures to run or to fight for survival. Think about it. When you're running from a bear, you don't want to have multiple deeply inspired thoughts. Your brain narrows down your focus so that you can quickly find the fastest, easiest way to escape danger. Research shows that our hurried, overscheduled lives and ever-increasing amount of time spent interacting with electronic devices negatively impacts our creativity and increases our stress response. We're too busy and electronically entertained for creativity to blossom. We're too worried and stressed to cultivate the cosmic cha-cha-cha dance with our muse. The first step in cultivating a consistent relationship with your inspiration is to nurture yourself, decrease your stress load, take yourself away from electronic media, go outside, find strategies to be more present to what feels good and restorative. When we're relaxed, the body produces dopamine and serotonin, two hormones that expand the creative capacity of the brain and make you much more receptive to creative thoughts and inspiration. This is the scientific reason why the muse often visits us in the shower. An inspirational practice means you have to take care of your body and make sure that you minimize your stress load so that you can be more receptive to your muse. Get enough sleep, exercise regularly, heal your past traumas and anything else that might be increasing your stress load. The second thing to consider is that to be inspired, you have to, well, be inspired. That means you must spend some time consuming inspirational materials or engaging in inspirational experiences. Most of us become inspired in response to our world. We have to be in the world to use it as the catalyst for our creative expansion. What does that mean? It means in order for you to cultivate an inspirational practice, you have to read or go to art museums or listen to podcasts or music, attend live events, have juicy conversations with other cultural creatives like you, or go outside and sit in the inspired wonder of nature. I've always said that to be a writer, one must read. I'm always surprised about how quickly I can become inspired by a good book. This concept can be translated to other creative mediums as well. If you have a podcast, listen to podcasts. If you're a painter, go to an art museum. Consume inspiration with an open and curious attitude. Be extra mindful of the self-doubt gremlins or the comparison gremlins that sometimes taint the cultivation of our inspiration. Again, to be more deeply inspired... We have to heal the wounds of our inner cultural creative so that we can be genuinely inspired by others instead of feeling less than or inadequate in comparison. I want to end with one more thought. Inspiration is a practice. Inspiration takes practice. But in spite of what you might have been taught in school, practice does not necessarily make perfect if it's not paired with passion. Sometimes to stay inspired, we have to reconnect with our bigger purpose and the meaning of the contribution we seek to make in the world. You are a once-in-a-lifetime cosmic event 
There has never been anyone like you on the planet before. There will never be anyone like you on the planet again. You are a cosmically creative event. Your inspiration and your ability to inspire the world with your very existence is your purpose. For many of you, your creative desire goes beyond simply exploring the cosmic slipstream of photons that we bathe in daily. You were born with a burning desire to serve the world and to make it a better place. When you're feeling uninspired or stuck, or when your practice feels like it's failing you, remember your passion, the bigger reason why you do what you do. Reigniting your inspiration can happen one step at a time. You don't need to download an entire novel or podcast concept in an instant. It'll come to you if you tend to create a fire. Start first with a simple step. Work on decreasing your stress. Love yourself better. Play. Read a book. Go for a walk. And set the intention to bring yourself back into alignment with your mission and your purpose. This week, I invite you to commit to doing one thing to reconnect with your inspiration and begin cultivating an inspired practice. Do you have an idea? Not sure what your next inspired step is? Set up a consultation with our senior publishing director. Let's talk about what's the next right step for you getting your creative contribution out into the world. You can find us at gracepointpublishing.com. May your voices gain strength. May your vision stay clear and strong. May your creative fire spark change in the world.